Okay, guys, I'm back. This is the last one for this weekend. And we're going to go back to the bottle caps. <laughs> yeah. Because the with the tube wasn't something that I think is um, better than the bottle caps. Bottle caps sort of work out better. And I just saw a question pop up on uh, on my YouTube channel uh, about this. Oh, uh, I gotta get me a little palette knife. Um, and someone said, "Why? Why would this be better than just doing it out of a tube?" Well, you just saw it happen. So, I think it's because bottle caps have you can place them, so you know that you're gonna get the paint. Uh, in the places that you want with the tube you still you know or you have to really fill the tube up but I saw that it did different things it did have uh, a couple of places where it had really awesome cells so that I might try it again but then a little bit differently I think I need something that is a, a little bit more narrow and taller I think that would work out better fill that in there so I think it's all about the volume that you have in your tube uh, of course the paint that is on the canvas it all comes into uh, play and well I think that's uh, about it okay now brush So we're going to do the sides because we need the sides done when it goes over the side and of course the corners that's that and this goes pretty quickly so nicely tucking in the corners So just to make sure that we don't have any bare canvas left over. Here it's going over the side a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, that's it. Oh, oh, here we have a little. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth course we need a, a tiny little bit of I'll put it up here so you can see me uh, do the bottle caps so that's getting rid of the uh, air bubbles that's all this does and I have to fill my little torch before you know we're gonna need it for the cells this one's been going a long time, this one. Usually two months and then I need a new one, but this time I, I'm really uh, getting a lot out of this torch. They're not that expensive, like uh, $10. So uh, let's see, let's do more. Well, now I did six. Eh, maybe we'll do six again. Maybe we'll do seven. Just to spice it up. Okay, so this time I'm going to start with I'm only going to put bronze in though, guys. So, bronze in each little bottle cap. I'm going to skip the gold because I think the gold is just a little bit too yellow. And this goes better with the the colors, the turquoises and the and the browns. So that's why this time no gold. Oops. A little bit of background color all over and I I really want to do a um, a folding f a folding painting with the Vallejo I'm gonna do that I, I might even do that today because it's been in my head you know and not do it with a uh, with a hairdryer but just you know with the with you know just blowing the paint with your mouth I think that might just work out really good That's that. This time I am going to add a little light blue because I do think that adds to the uh, to the browns. Just a tiny little bit, not too much. 
And now I'm going to come in with the uh, sienna. I want a lot of sienna because I like it. And then I'm going to put the light turquoise on top of this. And just like the, the one I did before, I, I want to do some, um, I don't want to fill up the whole bottle cap. This, this color is a little thicker than the rest. I might have to watch out for that. That's that. Then another background color. And the nice thing about these bottle caps is they have that little center thing in the middle. So they really, um, they show you how much you paint you have in your bottle cap. So you can fill it up or just make it, make sure you get that center piece uh, flooded. Then you know you have all the same, the same, uh, let's see, do I have all colors now? Yeah, I think so. Maybe a little bit more background color. It's not filled up above the center piece yet. So that's what we're going to do. There you go. Maybe a little bit more bronzy color. That sort of pops up really nicely on the uh, when you do these bottle cap things. Now another thing that is different is because um, when I use the long tube, this one here, um, when you put in metallic it goes sinks straight through and now you just have it evenly you know put in these little caps so they all come out the same so that is sort of different. There's a lot of things to think about choosing uh, bottle caps over a, a tube because when you have a tube you pour the paint in from the top it sort of mixes the rest of the paint and here you, you have all evenly mixed uh, paint so I'm gonna put one right down there and there and there push that one up a little that's nicely evenly divided, right? Okay. That's nice. Nice. See how the bronze really comes out? Was a really nice one. Bottle caps in the water. I always have a bucket of water with uh, with a cloth in there, so that you can uh, have uh, some space and have it nice and tidy. Ooh, this is a lot of bronze. I like that. Okay, make it go down there, make it go up there a little bit, and down, and back up here. I think we're going to leave it like that. That's nice, but I think I'm going to do something different to this one. I think I'd like a little bit. It is growing though. I'm not sure. Let, just let me uh, get a tiny little straw. I would like this really to be feathered out, if you know what I mean, the whole thing, but not where it's doing it by itself. See something like that really carefully.
Yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, but this is making it look better. And there's extra cells coming off that. See how pretty those cells are? Okay, maybe this needs a little bit widening just to balance it out. That's okay. We're going to leave it like that. Let's see if we can get a little bit more cells on the side. That's it. Oops, air bubble. Gone. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I do like a little bit of that light blue popping up here and there. It just lightens it up a little bit. That is really cool. I'm very satisfied with this piece. Just want to do a little touch up here on the side. And of course the corners where I touched it. This is going to flatten out. Yep. Oops, I see some a little bit here. That's going to flatten out. That's it. Okay, guys, this is it. Of course, it's going to grow. As you can see, it's growing. And that, that makes it just more organic looking because, you know, we you blow with the straw, but... Because the background is thinner, it does have a chance to grow into the background. So that makes it just extra special. Uh, I'm going to give you a uh, close-up of this. And uh, we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to plug out and start over. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 